Is it safe to breastfeed if you have COVID-19? Is it safe to get vaccinated if you are breastfeeding? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta Smith and we're talking to Dr. Lawrence Grummer Strawn about breastfeeding and COVID-19 today. Welcome Lawrence. Let's start with is it safe for a mother to breastfeed if she has COVID-19? I'm sure that that mother is very concerned about her own health as well as the health of her uh, own baby. Um, but it's really critical that to, to understand that WHO not only says it's safe uh, to breastfeed, um, but it is highly encouraged that she breastfeed her baby. Um, we know that the breast milk itself is not a means of transmission of the virus to her baby. Um, there are also concerns about just her own care of the baby and, and being so close to the, to the baby um, that comes from the, that close contact during breastfeeding. And yet what we find is that in fact the transmission risk to that baby is very, very low. And in fact, um, if the baby were to get infected, babies typically have very mild cases of COVID and so it's not a significant health risk. On the other hand, we have to weigh that against the, the, the loss of the benefits of breastfeeding. It's critically important um, that we also continue to protect, protect that baby from many of the other diseases that they might get if they were not breastfeed. And when we've done cost effectiveness analyses, comparing um, is just so much more important. Um, the benefits of breastfeeding strongly outweigh the possible risks of transmission. Lawrence, describe to us what steps a mother should take if she has COVID-19 and is breastfeeding her baby. So that mother who, is, uh, who has the baby and is breastfeeding um, certainly wants to do what she can to protect her baby from that, uh, even though it's a small risk, um, but from that risk of transmission um, that could happen from close contact. And so we would recommend the same kinds of protections that she would have with other family members, of uh, wearing a mask when she's around them, um, washing her hands frequently if she doesn't have access to, to safe, clean water for washing, um, then to use alcohol-based uh, uh, wipes and such. Um, and so to, to continue to have contact because it's important that the baby have contact with the mother, um, but that she have those kinds of just basic precautions against transmission. Lawrence, is it safe for a breastfeeding mother to get vaccinated? So based on all the evidence that we have, it is not only safe for breastfeeding mothers to be vaccinated, um, but it is also highly recommended. It is important for her own health um, that she, she be protected from, the, uh, from COVID um, and that she's able to take care of her family as best as possible and, and doesn't get to, too sick. There is no evidence that uh, the vaccine would allow for the virus to be transmitted to, to the child. Um, and there is no reason that the vaccine would be any less effective in a breastfeeding mother than in a non-breastfeeding mother. We would definitely recommend that she should be vaccinated as soon as the vaccine is available to her to protect her and the community around her. Lawrence, speak to us please about these benefits of breastfeeding and also about WHO's recommendations on breastfeeding. So WHO recommends that women start breastfeeding in the first hour of, of life, so immediately at, at the, the time of birth, and that she continue breastfeeding for two years or beyond, uh, as much as is desirable um, for, for her and for her baby. Um, in the first six months, we recommend that that baby not be fed anything except uh, breast milk. Um, and so, so she should continue the breastfeeding only um, at the breast um, during that first six months, and then after the first six months, um, introducing complementary foods. Now, the reasons for that are that there are so many health benefits uh, to breastfeeding for the breastfed child in terms of protection against infectious diseases such as diarrhea or respiratory infections. Um, but also there are long-term impacts even after breastfeeding has stopped of protecting that baby against the development of childhood overweight and obesity, um, protection against SIDS and leukemia, um, so long-term benefits to, to the child. Um, and finally, the mother herself benefits from breastfeeding in terms of her protection against breast cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, diabetes, um, so it, there are benefits to both the, the mother and the baby. Thank you, Lawrence. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.